Hello Sydney, you're in for another wet day with a top of just 23 degrees. Well thousands of blind people could be about to get a new window on the world's fascinating stuff thanks to a new type of scanner that tells you what you're looking at. Nine News reporter Kelly Curtin got an exclusive look. It may look like just another set of numbers, but to those without vision, it's a code to a whole new world of independence. Yes, case code 200 gram. The audio scanner gives instant information that could otherwise take a blind person much longer to find or alternatively have to rely on others for. It's just marvellous being able to think, I can do this for myself now. This is the first of its kind in Australia. It's portable and can identify a million items, but it can also be personalised, allowing users to use their own barcodes. Things like your bills, uh, things like the oven, the washing machine. It's given me independence now to cook um, without having to ask every five minutes, you know, what's this, where's that? Robert has been living in total darkness for two years, gradually losing his vision after contracting a virus. And anyone who's looking after somebody who has a disability will probably understand that what it's like that uh, the person they're looking for can become so frustrated. It's been pretty uh, life-changing for both of us. Wanting to change things for the better, Bernie went in search of something that would give Robert back some of his autonomy. He found it in America, then spent months having it adapted for Australian barcodes. My objective I started out was getting something that would work for Robert and then I realised, well, this is just too good to leave for one person. Their aim is to give any of the 300,000 low or no vision people in Australia access to the device. The most likely obstacle is the cost. The wholesale price is $1,500. The barcode information has been donated, but it's still likely to be too expensive for most, which is why they have set up the Visual Independence Charity. It's just so empowering and I want it out there and I want it now for those people and that's what I need help with. The reality of it is, is that um, you have to come to a time and acceptance and realise your limitations. Life's a hell of a lot better since I've had this, yeah, uh, that's for sure, that's for sure. And Bernie and Robert join us now. Now Bernie, if I can start with you, good morning to both of you first good of morning. course. Good morning. <laughs> Bernie, if I can start with you, did you have any idea just how much of a difference this was going to make to uh, vision impaired people across the country? I think it just blew me out of the water, especially when I saw Robert's uh, face when he uh, got the device and what I really saw what it could do for him. It was just amazing. And in terms of your life, Robert, what sort of things does it open up for you? Uh, it's just opened up a whole new world to me. Um, things like identifying all my... I love cooking and I love doing a lot of um, Asian-style cooking. Uh, and now I can identify all my products. I can identify my clothing, I can identify my medical uh, prescriptions, my medications, I can identify CDs, I can identify wow. paperwork and so forth. It just becomes limitless after a while. And Robert, you would imagine that the sort of technology that we're looking at here, that is going to have all sorts of further possibilities. Oh, it does. It opens up a whole new door, even for people who are um, working, uh, blind people who are doing uh, some forms of work. Um, it actually uh, opens up doors for workplace modifications and can improve productivity for those people as well. Um, but it just opens up all sorts of doors for independence, for people to start living a healthier life with their cooking uh, and to actually start making choices for themselves in regards to even their clothing when they get a piece of clothing there you can actually tailor it so you can actually say that it will go with this particular top will go with these particular mm -hmm. pants <laughs> and you know exactly what you've got. <laughs> yes. um, I also uh, Robert I would imagine for um, a Bernie rather for, for carers out there it would give you a little bit of a break uh, not that not that you're obviously looking for it but it would give you a little bit of space yeah? The changes have been enormous because whilst they're not huge, the demands, they're frequent small interruptions yeah. asking for this, need for that and that. And it's not, it, it's not that you mind doing it, but it does stop you from doing other things and it does take a fair amount of your time. But this uh, certainly overcomes that and gives carers a necessary uh, piece of assistance as well. But Bernie, as wonderful as this device is, it, it actually doesn't come cheap, does it? $1,500 was one figure that I saw. 
$1,500 is the uh, retail price for it. Uh, we're looking at a uh, reduction uh, for uh, people receiving the blind pension only of $1,350. However, we do need to focus on getting some sponsorship coming in and grants, and we're looking towards government uh, to private individuals and groups such as service clubs, social clubs, um, the likes and also to industry and uh, corporate bodies that may like to um, contact us and have some involvement in uh, the uh, product from a uh, community feel-good sense. All right. Um, Bernie and Robert, we're going to put um, the details of how people can get in touch with you and, and also the charity on our website, um, and hopefully that'll be That's of some great. assistance to you. Good on you, and, and we're sure glad that it's made a, a big difference in your lives. And if, oh, I can, just, uh, if I can just add before we go, um, we would like to see the retailers and manufacturers uh, assistance and support us in uh, in developing this. We've got a million barcodes on there, but we need to get a lot more of the information out there. We want to get nutritional information, uh, warnings such as whether it contains nuts. We want to get in recipe information, instructions and the likes, plus all the barcodes that are not recorded there. And we ask retailers and manufacturers please get in touch with GS1 Australia, our strategic partner who hold the database for oh. barcodes and we will, we will get them. That just would one be quick a good point. move. Yeah, just one quick point also, that people will actually be able to see this, um, this is the barcode scanner here and it will be around the country in each state within the next week or two. Uh, all the different organisations, vision organisations uh, and the guide dog organisations around the country will actually have one of these for people to actually look at and to have a play with and demonstrate to see how wonderful it actually works. Good on you, Bernie Terrific. and Robert. Thank you so much for your time today. Best of luck with it. And thanks and again. Thank you for your time. No worries Thank at all. you. Coming up, we'll help find the...